Hello everyone, welcome to another time-lapse drawing video. This video as usual is the condensed version of the full-length tutorial that I have made specially for my patrons. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can visit the link in the video description below. Patrons have access to all my full-length tutorials that I have created since 2016. For this video, I will be drawing with the help of this reference photo that I have taken in Taichung. So this is a busy street scene in an urban setting. And the tools that I'll be using today would be a roller ballpoint pen. I want to try something different. I usually use fountain pens, but when you use different pens, you actually feel a bit different. And with roller ballpoint pens, they are a bit more slippery, so they help you draw a bit looser. So this is me testing out some of the roller ballpoint pens that I have. That's the rotary one. I have many uniball roller ballpoint pens. And the uniball pens are the one that I recommend because many of them actually come with waterproof ink. So when the ink is dry, you can apply watercolor over them. The sketchbook that I'm using is the Hanamule watercolor sketchbook. So as usual, before I draw, I would usually take a few seconds to study the scene to frame the composition in my mind first. I try to imagine what the scene would look like on paper in my mind before I even start drawing. With complicated scenes like this, it would be helpful to block out the different areas to draw first, to draw the largest shape first before you fill in the details. So here you can see I have drawn two long vertical lines on the left and on the right. They sort of divide the page into three parts and once the different areas are set up, I can begin to draw the details that are within the parts. Now if I get the proportion wrong at the first stage, then the proportion for all the other elements will be affected by what I have drawn initially. So it's very important to get the proportion right at the start. Notice that little ink dot on the page. That's the vanishing point for this one point perspective scene. And I am pointing my finger to it to remind me that the vanishing point is there. And when I draw the other diagonal lines that are affected by this vanishing point, I would draw them pointing to that little dot there, that vanishing point there. It makes it so much easier to draw those diagonal lines to get the angles right when you are pointing to a point. If you are just drawing those diagonal lines by observation, sometimes, um, let me just say that it's not easy to measure some of those angles because your eyes may play tricks on you especially when there are so many diagonal lines and depending on which floor or how high the building is there are many windows many of those windows at different heights the top and bottom of those windows they will have different angles and all those little differences in angle will either make your sketch believable or not that believable so getting those angles right is very important so as I'm drawing the left side, I am sometimes drawing the diagonal lines pointing to the vanishing point. Sometimes I am drawing the sign boards. Sometimes I like to draw the sign boards first, the sign boards that are not in perspective. I like to draw the sign boards that look exactly like rectangles or squares that are facing directly in front of me because I want to use them as uh, some sort of positioning tool that I can use later on. And later on when I'm drawing other elements, I can draw them with respect to where those signboards are. So um, everything that you draw is in relation to other elements that you have already drawn. So for example, if you have drawn the buildings really big, then the cars will be very big as well. The people in the scene will be big and everything will be big. And if you are not careful with um, managing your size, then you may actually run out of space to draw on the page. And sometimes that actually happens to me. I have a tendency to draw bigger and bigger as I 
uh, progress so usually when I start drawing I will draw a bit smaller to compensate for that as I keep adding the details on the left side the sketch is starting to come to life now notice the car in the foreground where I have a stray actually two stray vertical lines that are sort of overlapping that car so that was a mistake so sometimes when you are drawing if you draw too fast you may actually draw the lines a bit longer than expected and when you draw other elements later on you realize that oh you actually draw the line too long which is what happened here so in order to avoid this sort of mistake you would have to really uh, concentrate when you are drawing and now I'm moving to draw the right side now regarding those diagonal lines for the buildings for the top of the buildings for example it would be good if you can measure those angles with your pen just stretch out your arm lock your elbows and measure those angles and see if those lines see if those diagonal lines actually point to the vanishing point most of the time if the buildings are parallel to each other they will point to the same vanishing point but sometimes when the building is at a different angle um, those diagonal lines at the top of the roof for example they will not go to the vanishing point they will not go to the same vanishing point so sometimes when I'm drawing um, before I draw I may actually just use my pen to measure some of the diagonal lines to make sure that well they all go to the same vanishing point so here's a close-up of me adding the details now drawing with a roller ballpoint pen as mentioned earlier is it's quite fun because the pen glides very easily on the paper and when I'm drawing with a roller ballpoint pen usually I feel that my sketch is a bit looser it's a bit more sketchy and now I'm drawing some of the vehicles on the street now all these vehicles on the street they are affected by perspective so for example the bottom of the vehicle there will be diagonal lines that point to the vanishing point and all these vehicles as they progress to the, towards the background they will become smaller and smaller so when you're drawing make sure to get the size correct when I'm drawing vehicles in the background I will be constantly thinking to myself where does the top of this vehicle align to the other vehicles that I have already drawn where is the bottom of the wheel where does it align to other elements in the scene that I have already drawn so for example with that van right there I would think to myself the bottom of the wheel actually intersects uh, if you draw an invisible invisible line towards the left side it actually sort of intersects with the guy's elbow so that's where I know where to place the bottom of the wheel so when I'm drawing I'm constantly thinking about um, the size how big is this where are the lines going to where are they in relation to other elements in the scene and as I'm drawing you may notice that sometimes I would point my finger to the vanishing point um, when drawing diagonal lines to the vanishing point sometimes I find that it's easier for me to uh, point my finger to the vanishing point and draw towards my finger for some reason I feel that it's easier to draw those diagonal lines uh, more accurately that way after adding those overhanging horizontal cables this sketch is complete I am not going to color this sketch for this video I'm going to leave the coloring for the limited color palette video so this is how the sketch looks like it's drawn very quickly very loosely notice the lack of details in the background if you cannot see the details don't draw the details when you are faced with such a complicated scene don't think too much just jump straight in draw the big shapes first fill in the details later on all right so that's all for this tutorial if you want to watch the full-length tutorial you can support me on patreon 
Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to help out the artists, to support artists that you like. I have many tutorials over there, you might want to check them out. Okay, so thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video, bye!